Hello guys. So in this old wooden box is hiding the result of an incredibly unexpected and rare and lucky eBay find. I was watching a YouTube video about a Marconi military radio rack teardown. And I want to on eBay to try to get one for myself, see the cost of it for my collection, then I browse the other items of the seller. And I found something uh, quite weird. I was not even sure what it was. It was a buy it now for 60 British pounds. So well, I purchased it. After opening the parcel, I posted a photo of, of it in the YouTube post. We hope someone will help identifying it. And yes, uh, viewer uh, helped a lot identifying it. It would have taken me a lot more time, I believe. So you know who you are. Thanks a lot. So this box, uh, some uh, very little information written on it. Actually, here we have uh, M and O logo, and it is written uh, UK free. Actually, all the information you need is already here, but I did not know it. And on this side, we have a very old label, remainings of a very old label. So let's uh, zoom on it. It says the uh, typewriter information United States and United Kingdom Cooperative Space Research Program UKE or UK free. So should be something uh, space related maybe. Really? And here to uh, shipping information apparently when it was sent back to Met office in Yucca, Bracknell, England. So the Met uh, Bracknell was actually the old headquarters of the British Meteorological Office. The building is not existing anymore, but it was looking like this. So all the information needed to identifying this thing is already here, but before we, I tell you exactly what we have here, let's uh, open the cover. Four big latches, like uh, military stuff. And we have a turret thing with uh, four openings. Old gold plated, it uh, seems. Seems very serious uh, stuff. Yes, we have here a satellite part. But before I get rid of the cover, in uh, the cover we have uh, moisture absorber cartridge, silica gel, it is written on it, with big old rubber band on the top. It is written, it is the top, and it is written by air for the shipping information. Okay, I'll get this. So, what do we have here? We have a UV detector that was designed to be mounted on top of, of a British satellite, the Ariel Free Research Satellite. Yes, I found a satellite part on eBay. Pretty amazing. So the Ariel Free, aka UK Free or UK E. Did I say UK Free? UK2? UK2? No, UK Free, okay. Uh, it was the first uh, British uh, made uh, satellite. Well, made in uh, Great Britain, completely designed and made in Great Britain. It launched on the uh, 5 May 1967, 
from uh, Vanterberg Air Force Base in USA, of course, on board a Scout rocket. It was a 90 kilos satellite with uh, several uh, science and meteorological uh, experiments. So here is uh, one of them. It uh, was turned off the satellite in uh, September 69 and decayed in the atmosphere in uh, December uh, 1970 after a series of technical issues but it uh, gave at the beginning good uh, scientific data as uh, technical issues they had a spin rate problem it did uh, slow its spin rate uh, too quick and it was uh, uh, not good for the experiments it had also uh, tape recorder problems because for uh, periods of uh, orbit where it was not capable, capable of transmitting live to a ground station there was a tape recorder to store the data it failed also had some power problems uh, apparently five copies of a satellite were made we had one uh, prototype two engineering models for uh, EMI and vibration test and so on on the two flight models, the first one and the spare one in case of a failure of the first launch. So uh, the first launch was successful. The spare one did never uh, leave the ground. I do not know what it became. Was it scrapped? Is it somewhere in a museum? I did not find any information. Also, no information for the other non-flight uh, uh, copies of the satellite. But this uh, detector here, it here, might be the one of the uh, only ones remaining, or the only one remaining, because maximum uh, five of them were made. Maybe even four if the prototype did not have one. I am not sure. Of course, the flight model was destroyed during re-entry, so it leaves three of them maximum, three, four, not sure. So, uh, super rare item. So, what is it for? It is to measure the vertical distribution of molecular oxygen in the thermosphere, the very high altitude atmosphere of Earth. At this altitude, the uh, molecular oxygen will uh, interact with UV from the sun and they are actually measuring the UV rays to know the amount of oxygen. So it is a program from the, the sensor was designed and it was an experiment from the Meteorological Office of uh, Great Britain. Meteorological Office. Here the MO logo. So it consists of four ionization chambers behind each one of those openings. They are connected to a single signal amplifier. So as you will see later, it looks like the ionization chambers themselves were removed. But uh, it is quite sad actually because I do not think I will be able to locate uh, any spare ones anytime soon. Well, I can check on eBay, but I have no high expectations. And if you do not still believe it is from a satellite, check out those photos. Yes, we can totally see the same assembly mounted on the satellite and also you may be, you did notice the uh, openings were covered on the photos with uh, pieces of black plastic. And guess what? I actually received in the box four pieces of black plastic. It is quite insane. So like in the photos very very nice 
Uh, what other say, things I can say before we open it? Uh, there is a top cover here which is unscrewed. The four openings. It is mounted on the plywood uh, plate. So each one of those openings, it has a, it was designed to have a baffle to uh, eliminate uh, undesired uh, UV reflections and look in a very uh, specific uh, angle to the sunlight. Three of them, uh, two of them are still installed, the baffles here, it is to uh, attenuate the, on direct, redirect the, the amount of UV you will get, apparently. I believe the uh, ionization chambers themselves as they were inserted from the outside and clamped here behind those parts. I will undo one for uh, you right now. This one, normally the bolts are loose here. So I do not want to lose these bolts because it looks like they are not so common. Very spe uh, specific hardware on this thing. Okay, here is what it looks like. We will open it uh, later to have a better look at it. Some uh, Teflon in here. Gold plating everywhere. Allen screws. And you can see a big opening and a big hole. Yes, missing part sadly. It is what it is. So it is mounted on this plate with two screws. There is a cup out here to allow lifting here. It and on the bottom, uh, aluminium cover with a number of uh, screws all around, two digital connectors, one um, coax here, and two access to trimmers, uh, zero and uh, gain, probably, and return. Uh, about these screws, they look very much like uh, regular hardware store screws, but uh, no, the thread is uh, special, it is not metric, and it does not seem to be uh, regular imperial screws also. Uh, very, very uh, specific hardware. Also, you will notice we have to uh, secure the internal parts, we have nylon screws. Quite weird. Are they the original uh, flight hardware, or is it just because it is a research and a prototype model, and they did not bother put the real screws? I researched a little bit about nylon in space. What it looks like, actually, it was used, and it is a part of. Uh, space uh, suites fabric nylon so maybe it is all good for space uh, i would believe the uv from space or the extreme temperatures will damage nylon but maybe not after all okay it is time i believe to lift uh, this uh, big uh, golden cover on the top and find out uh, what we have under it just one more thing there is a layer of some kind of uh, clear coating over it which is uh, coming off completely, delaminating already came off at some part, part like here I don't show what it is and uh, if I will leave the remains of it or I will completely remove it it is a lot more golden and shiny without but maybe it uh, does protect the plating a little bit. Uh, about this uh, gold plating, I am not sure of uh, how much gold I actually have here, but it might be quite uh, something. The item is uh, just uh, 20 centimeters wide. Okay, time to put the camera overhead and uh, have a look at uh, what we have behind this cover. So, are you ready? The cover came already 
unscrewed with a missing screws it looks like here I will be able to use three millimeters one so tada here we are first the cover quite uh, damaged inside by some uh, attack of uh, some gases or liquid something it is delaminating here quite uh, delicate thing so look at this it is very convenient because we have stickers telling exactly what everything does so obviously we have a demonstration or prototype model and they did uh, put those stickers really really nice so a bunch of empty space here where the uh, ionization chambers will have been located uh, wires probably for them I see yes for uh, spare wires uh, probably for kind of some kind of a power supply to them with little clumps like this and the signal output would go on those uh, coax connectors somehow uh, so what do we have we have junction box with uh, several plugs amplifier polarizing battery because yes the uh, ionization chambers will need a polarizing battery to work like in this uh, climatic amplifier calibration resistor and one other module here, uh, not written what it is. So the two metal modules will be uh, possible to open and have a look inside. But the two epoxy ones I did already check, they are completely sealed. There is no way at all to open it. Them the only poking thing is uh, the connector. So if I can send them to someone for X-ray, maybe there will be a follow-up video with uh, X-ray photos of the uh, insides. So here I guess we are just a battery because really we have three wires going to here, but the other one has four wires, but it is not written what it is for. Maybe some kind of um, power supply section for the amplifier I am following the cables uh, yes maybe okay so you will notice uh, the coating here uh, on the side is damaged like uh, if we add a battery leak but I did check this unit and really there is no evidence of any leak on it but obviously it was uh, attacked via backing material here is quite uh, grayish not brass maybe just uh, aluminium actually okay so the two black modules are potted uh, I will not remove them because it is not necessary it will not uh, tell anything else but we can have a look here at uh, the calibration resistor, so about the wiring we have loose coax here, there is one coax here still connected to a clamp here, apparently going on the bottom side, but it is a box and a metal box and there is nothing to see on it. Not sure how it is secured because I do not feel any screw in here. Uh, I will try to show you it here. You can see this thing here. It goes to a metal box uh, which is uh, secured somehow but uh, maybe glued or something and there is nothing else to see than a square uh, aluminium color metal box attached here with a coax. Okay, uh, some uh, markings in the metal here all around I3 ionization 3 ionization 4 1 
of two here probably behind the label. Okay, uh, what next? I will not do this uh, vibration resistor to try to have a look at it. Looks like it is uh, maybe a glass package resistor. So two very particular uh, nylon screws, uh, also quite in obtenium. I did check on uh, eBay. Uh, nylon screws are actually super expensive. So what do we have? Yes, here is what it looks like. Yes, a black carbon or something resistor, metal coating resistor in a glass um, tube, it seems. It is written 10% and there is uh, more information, but it is not uh, megums. Ah, it is in megums. Okay. Here at the back we have um, the other box which is not uh, telling what it is and just a brass plate between them. And it is all obviously uh, some uh, connector here was undone, some wire is missing and it is uh, all for this. Uh, Calibration resistor, I will reinstall it. Then I will not lose the impossible to replace hardware. Try to. And then uh, we will uh, undo the two metal boxes. So while I uh, finish undoing those boxes, uh, definitely check the video description for uh, a lot of links about the Ariel Free Satellite. satellite. And uh, photos and information about the experiments on board on it. Definitely worth to check. So this box the connector is still uh, screwed on, but the other one it was uh, unscrewed previously. So regular 15 pin connector, quite well gold plated as you can see. Uh, yes, brand ITT Canon of course. So this box is coming off. We have uh, two covers which are screwed. But the back will already reveal things. I will not show you it immediately. The other box, we have two coax connectors like this. Uh, DC3500001. Uh, okay. And this one is called a junction box. So, usually in a junction box, what do we have? We have uh, plugs and we have wires uh, junctioning the plugs together. We will see if it is this or not. I need to undo this connector also. So not to myself, a uh, junction box is between I3 and I4. Okay, so they are off. We have a better uh, view at the inside you can see a lot of dust, rust even, uh, the bottom plate here there is no point uh, undoing it from the bottom. The two connectors, this one it looks like we have, we have a lot of uh, wires jumping together, the pins. And it is all a very typical British color, pink color wires here. Quite uh, weird work actually. It is not uh, 
does not look to be space grade for me. Uh, well, good quality of wire, but it is not uh, very good. As the stuff you see in space uh, grade applications, but it was early space programs, so maybe they did not uh, figure out everything necessary to uh, have a good reliable space hardware. Maybe. Okay, as you can see, yes, it is. Uh, Flicking off this thing in my uh, box of random screws for this program or uh, project. I have already a few gold flakes. I will uh, probably put in a gold uh, recovery bucket someday. And uh, it is all for this uh, unit. Time to uh, have a better look at the parts I removed. Um, we will start with this uh, golden. Uh, Uh, viewing port thing with uh, baffles and Teflon insulations. So there is a cover with three Allen screws. The cover will be convenient for the screws. This cover. So what do we have if I undo them? You can see there is another set of screws, so everything here is heavily gold plated, except for those parts where the sum just seem to be regular aluminium. The screws here are not even tight and they are not all the same model. You can see, so definitely a research unit. They did take care a lot with it, I believe. And at some point, uh, undo the ionization chambers. Okay, this uh, part is uh, one single piece. It is hollow. We have one opening like this, and one slot here. And here, the uh, nylon insulation thing, or Teflon, exactly. Probably to uh, install your ionization chamber and connect it electrically. Okay, not thing, nothing else to see about this unit. So one thing to put back together. I have to uh, make sure of the way I install it. Could be good like this. Okay, it is a uh, Later reassembly. We have the two uh, metal boxes which I did remove, which uh, will show some contents. I hope. So uh, we will start with the junction box. Uh, sadly, as you can see, it is very annoying. The covers here are riveted in place. It will not allow to see inside without doing destructive work. Or I can just flip it around because here the back is opened and what we have just yes wires interconnecting the here you can look at this the three coax just connected together with wires they did use three of them where two would be electrically enough and here other wires but covered with um, silicon goop so why they did cover here and not here maybe here we are, we it is a power supply related or something and uh, some high voltage involved but here no protection at all and it is just uh, bolted into the shell quite weird you can see pretty serious uh, captive nuts here repeated so good, uh, good parts here, but it is all what we have. Okay. About the amplifier box, here, luckily enough, we have uh, covers which are screwed, so I will be able to undo them. But first, on the back, look, same thing. 
silicone group covering apparently a circuit board we have a two more uh, glass package resistors here i can see uh, gold terminals here on the uh, resistive element so a lot of uh, silicon group i hope we will be able to have a, at least a look at uh, some electronics because so, so far this thing has been quite disappointing for space grade electronics as you will notice looks fancy from the outside but uh, not the best but well it is really my first uh, piece of space hardware except for one uh, Buran space shuttle uh, thermal isolation brick I had and I sold sadly a long time ago I had one and I sold it so what do we have wow uh, I do not know what to say here it is definitely not what I was expecting. A piece of silicon goop. Apparently a miniature of a vacuum tube here. Yes. And it looks like this thing was uh, secured in a foam, but the foam did uh, completely decay. Yes, it was in a block of foam. We can still see the shape of it here in this uh, silicon piece. We have more parts covered everywhere with uh, silicon goop. Uh, here, the, this lid is insulated with a number of little beads in uh, plastic. Okay, well. Yes, as you can see, a lot of foam is falling out. So completely decayed. So we have apparently a vacuum tube amplifier. So not much electronics. Let's check out the other side if it is any better. We must have two trimmers at least. So what do we have here? Yes, the two trimmers. And a lot more goop covering everything. Remains of a very, very bad form here. And it is all. Well, looks like we have one vacuum tube and some auxiliary parts but they are all uh, completely covered with goop sadly and it will not be possible to see much more anyways we can expect a few capacitors resistors here i can see resistor here and here and the wires going to it so this thing really did not uh, edge very well. I am trying to see if the goop is uh, secured on it. I is coming off. Well, at some points it is coming off, but not everywhere. And I am not sure of how this board is secured in here. I do not see any extra screws on the side. You have the same uh, captive nuts here at the back. So maybe it is just secured by the goop. Actually. Okay, well, uh, not the fancy uh, space grade electronics I was expecting, definitely. Quite a disappointment here. One little vacuum tube. I can see over stuff here at the back, but it is all covered with uh, silicon goop, so it is not really easy to tell what it is. But, well, very, very simple. Uh, signal amplifier here okay but it is what it is and it is my first piece of a satellite so i will not complain even if i would have expected uh, more beautiful electronics it is really sad for the missing uh, 
Ionization Chambers. And, well, uh, I believe it is all for uh, this unit. I will uh, put all this uh, back together. And uh, continue hunting eBay for uh, space uh, hardware at affordable prices, maybe. Well, this one is uh, ground development hardware. But, uh, well, look at this. They did scrape manually the, here the names of the plugs. We have IC, we have uh, S, and we have P5, maybe. OK, and the same here, X15, and nothing about these ones. Quite unusual, uh, quest connectors here also. I do not think I did see them previously. OK, so some uh, reassembly ahead. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.